Hey everybody and welcome to our second chapter where I'm going to give you an overview of the actual Monday Dev product. Um, before I go in and actually show you the boards and show you the structure, um, it's important to, for me to emphasize that everything I will show you today is customizable. So what we did is we created templates for you and we created a, a solution for you uh, based on best practices um, and you can take it as is or you can take it and make it your own. So you can see that everything from titles or headers of columns and names of boards and you can add columns so you can really tailor it to match your needs and your terminology um, but we we've, we have a pre-built solution for you um, that you can definitely use and it's all built um, based on uh, our experience. So I'm going to show you that today. Before we go into the boards themselves let's take a look at the structure first of the Monday Dev product um, and uh, take a look at the flow. So the first stage would be for uh, product managers to collect requirements, right? Um, and then we have the roadmap boards where you can manage epics or features. Um, and uh, this is where you plan all of your upcoming uh, epics. Then the product manager together with the dev team lead will break down each epics into tasks and our uh, software development solution is a scrum agile methodology so we have a sprint board if you work in Kanban or waterfall we have templates for that as well in our template store so feel free to explore. Um, since this is using a scrum methodology uh, we have a sprint board where the tasks are managed we also have retrospectives board where you can go through your retros after every uh, sprint that you have um, and collect feedback points and vote on them. Uh, we're going to review that uh, later on. And we also have a bugs process. So we have a bugs queue board um, and bugs can be reported via monday.com form um, or we can get you know feedback from uh, users. So we can add bugs directly on the board or we can use a form to submit bugs and anyone externally that don't have monday.com users can submit a bug using a form. Um, sales team, for example, or client facing teams can, can uh, report uh, bugs that way. Um, and then we can either manage it on the bug skew board itself or if this is an area that we're already going to focus on in a specific sprint and we want to manage it as part of the sprints we have uh, also an indication of whether we want to manage it as part of a sprint and that would become a task in our sprint board. So this is the overview of the Monday Dev. Um, let's go into monday.com so this is where we can see all of the different boards that i'm talk that i've talked about um, and now in the next chapter we're going to do a deep dive of each of them starting with the roadmap so stay tuned <laughs> 